Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. There's a certain thrill that comes with seeing a massive helicopter hovering above you. It's hard not to feel a sense of awe when you witness the sheer size and power of these behemoths in action. And there's nothing quite like the CH-53 King Stallion. This heavy lift cargo helicopter is the biggest helicopter ever built. Its look and its tech are the latest in a long line of heavy lift helicopters developed by Sikorsky Aircraft Corporation, a subsidiary of Lockheed Martin. The first of these helicopters, the CH-53A, was introduced in the early 1960s and served with distinction during the Vietnam War. Over the years, Sikorsky has continued to refine and improve the design, resulting in a series of increasingly advanced models, including the CH-53D, CH-53E, and now the CH-53K. Each iteration has featured significant improvements in capabilities, such as increased lifting power, more extended range, and better mission systems. The aircraft understands how to keep itself stable. So for example, when you're in a hover in this aircraft, you can basically auto-couple the, the aircraft to a point in space, laterally and in, in elevation as well, and, and literally fly it simply telling it to go up, down, left, right, in, 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 you know, in, in feet increments, rather than when I'm flying the 53E, literally sweating, trying to use my feet, my hands, everything at the same time to keep the aircraft in one spot. The CH-53K has a maximum gross weight of 88,000 pounds and a length of 99 feet. It features three powerful engines, a new composite airframe, and state-of-the-art avionics systems that provide enhanced situational awareness for pilots. It also has a larger payload capacity than any of its predecessors, with the ability to transport up to 36,000 pounds of cargo over a range of 110 nautical miles. Its size and lifting capabilities make it a critical asset for military operations, including transporting supplies and heavy equipment in support of combat missions. And when we say heavy, we mean heavy. The CH-53K has a cargo capacity referred to as F-35 lift due to its ability to carry the weight of an F-35 Lightning II fighter jet. The King Stallion's cargo hook system is capable of lifting vehicles, artillery, and even other helicopters. Up to 37 men or women can be transported in the internal cargo hold of the CH-53K. Some of that cargo could include vehicles, artillery, ammunition, medical supplies, and other critical equipment during a relief mission in peacetime or an assault in wartime. The spacious compartment is located in the center of the helicopter's fuselage and measures roughly 30 feet in length and 9 feet in width. The cargo hold is equipped with a ramp at the rear that can be lowered for easy loading and unloading of passengers or cargo.
the helicopter allows it to operate stealthily, minimizing the risk of detection and interception. Of course, these large choppers can't always evade enemy surveillance. In a situation where the helicopter is intercepted and shot down by enemy gunfire, its occupants need a quick and easy way to get out. That's why the Marines undergo rigorous egress training. Egress training prepares aircrew and passengers for emergency egress from an aircraft in the event of an emergency. During these drills, Marines practice with hatches and life rafts. They may even have to deal with smoke in the cockpit or a simulated crash landing. This stress test is for their safety, ensuring everyone on board is ready and prepared to respond appropriately in a real emergency. Another capability of the CH-53K that could minimize loss of life is the chopper's ability to refuel aerially. Using a drogue and hose system, the CH-53K can be refueled in flight by a tanker aircraft, such as the KC-130J. Helicopter's refueling receptacle is located on the top of the aircraft's fuselage, forward of the tail rotor. Like the CH-53K, the CH-47 is another heavy-hitting, heavy-lift transport helicopter in the U.S. military. Since the 1960s, around 1,200 Chinooks have been put into service. Despite being one of the larger military helicopters working today, the CH-47 only needs a crew of three to operate properly. This generally consists of a pilot, a co-pilot, and a crew chief. The pre-flight process for a CH-47 Chinook helicopter typically involves several steps. As with pre-flight checks for any aircraft, this process aims to ensure the safety and readiness of the aircraft before takeoff. It all starts with an exterior inspection. Before entering the helicopter, the flight crew will conduct a thorough visual inspection of the exterior of the aircraft. This includes checking the condition of the rotors, engine, and any other external components. This process is followed by an interior inspection, during which all the various controls and instruments are evaluated, as are fuel levels and electrical systems. Once the pre-start checks are complete, the pilot can start the engine. However, unless the Chinook is being scrambled for an emergency situation, it will spend several minutes on the ground after startup to ensure critical systems are functioning correctly. Typically, we can provide about 15 to 16,000 pounds of uh, heavy lift support to the customer. So that could be either internally loading a Humvee with a trailer that could be um, any sorts of palletized cargo. Uh, we have three cargo hooks on the aircraft. So we have the forward center and the aft, which uh, allows us to lift just about anything up to the max gross weight of the aircraft, um, as long as it's rigged appropriately. Despite its cumbersome size, the CH-47 has become the ideal platform for certain techniques. 
One of the most important of these is the pinnacle landing. This describes a process whereby a helicopter lands on a small, elevated point, such as the top of a mountain or a building. Since such an area might not be large enough or safe enough for a conventional landing, the pilot will instead place the rear section of the fuselage down while keeping the helicopter hovering. The Chinook's rear cargo ramp is ideal for this, as it provides a way for troops in large numbers to disembark or enter the aircraft quickly. After six decades, it's no surprise that the United States military and its allies have found multiple ways to utilize the CH-47. This includes specialized variants like the MH-47, which is used for long-range infiltration of special operations forces, resupply missions, and search and rescue. The primary difference between the CH-47 and MH-47 is that the latter has in-flight refueling systems. This allows it to dramatically extend its range and continue on its mission without stopping for fuel. Aside from this improvement, the MH-47 also boasts an integrated digital cockpit, a multi-mode radar, and improved avionics, increasing its overall versatility so it can adapt to whatever the mission demands. The Chinook helicopter possesses several unique capabilities. But perhaps one of its most impressive is its ability to execute helocasting drills. Helocasting involves the Chinook hovering just above the water surface at a slow speed. As it does this, a small group of troops can enter the water via the rear cargo door. This maneuver is commonly used during special operations to get the troops to a maritime insertion point without being detected by the enemy. The Chinook is particularly well suited for this maneuver because of its powerful engines, which enable it to maintain a steady hover at low altitudes. Most of the time, the deploying troops will throw boats and weapons out of the chopper simultaneously. In other situations, they might be rendezvousing with an existing team. Either way, any enemies monitoring the Chinook's radar signature will see it continue moving and be unaware of the troop deployment. The Chinook is a favorite of Special Forces teams who often need to pull off incursion and extraction operations without being detected by the enemy. But despite being a highly effective tactic, helocasting is also quite risky and requires well-trained personnel and skilled pilots to ensure mission success and safety. For this reason, teams practice with their Chinook crews regularly. From the raw muscle of the CH-53K King Stallion, 
to the versatile reliability of the CH-47 Chinook, heavy lift helicopters have become indispensable to modern military operations. Whether moving supplies through treacherous terrain, inserting special operations forces under cover of darkness, or executing precision refueling in midair, these airborne giants extend the reach and impact of armed forces across the globe. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.